to Pauline's just around the corner and I know a lot of you are scrambling for outfit ideas. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a really easy to make deer costume with antlers, a dress, and makeup. So let's get started. Okay, so for the deer antlers you're going to need some felt, a plain headband, paint, tape, scissors, a hot glue gun, a fabric marker, and some tree branches that spread apart. So first thing I'm gonna do is start painting my tree branches. You wanna do that first and get that out of the way so you can have it on the side drying while you do the rest of the headband. Make sure to get the tree branches evenly coated on both sides and then set that aside to dry. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start measuring one of my felt pieces up with my headband just to make sure that everything's covered. I'm gonna take my pen and make a little mark. Then I'm gonna take a ruler, or you can just freehand draw this, and I'm gonna make a line. come back and measure again then I'm going to take my marker and make another mark on the other side Again, repeating the same steps I did for the other side of the felt. Now I'm just lining it up again to see if it fits. Now I'm going to take my marker and make two little marks for where I want the tree branches to be. Then I'm going to cut in a sort of T formation right along where those dots were. So I'm going to line up my felt with the headband again and make marks onto the headband itself just so everything lines up. And now I'm going to take some duct tape. I know in the beginning of the video I had electrical tape, but I just found that duct tape holds up the tree branches a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and line up the tree branch onto the headband and start wrapping away. There's nothing good about you You never got into me I listen when you prove it, baby You got everything you ask for No one can deny you Everything comes to you And again, I'm gonna do the same for the other side I never got a chance to touch the sky You always be There we need my hot glue gun and line the felt up onto the headband and stick that on. The T-shaped marks we made before should be wrapping around your tree branches easily. And the way I had the headband set up, the cut marks we made in the felt should be facing towards the back or whatever you consider the back end of the headband. And right now I'm just gluing the remaining felt onto the underside. I say you wanna take two. I wonder when you touch me. Nothing comes out me. Hey back, yeah. I wanna know your secret, baby. When you take me, I got nothing to compare with you. You say you want I never got a chance. Cut off all the excess felt in the back. Now I'm going to 
use a skinny piece of felt that's around the same length as the headband. I'm going to use that to cover up all these open areas you see back here. piece of felt to cover up any exposed tape that's coming up onto the tree branches. And again the same for the other side. So now I'm going to go ahead and make the ears for the headband. I'm going to start out by making an oval on the white belt. And then now once I'm done with that, I'm going to fold it over and then cut it out. Now you're going to take your marker and trace bigger brown ovals around the white ones. And now you're going to fold it over and cut that shape out as well. Knowledge by the power, very low-key. Now you're going to do the white pieces onto the brown pieces. Make sure that the side with the markings isn't showing. Now you're going to glue across the bottom of the ears and pinch the bottom so it holds together. Maybe in time, baby, I can get you. I like the way you work No Now you're ready to glue your ears onto the headband. East side to the west side, pushing fat rides, it's no surprise. She got tricks in the stash, stacking up the cash, fast when it comes to the gas. By no means average, cause on when she's got the habit. Baby, you're a perfect 10, I wanna get in, can I get down? Now you have completed your headband. So for the front of the dress, you're going to need some push pins and some fuzzy fabric. I got mine from Michael's. Now you're going to pin the fabric onto where you want it placed on the dress. And the dress I got from American Apparel. Now you're going to go ahead and pin your tail onto your back end. Now you're going to turn the dress inside out and sew the tail and the fabric onto the dress. It's a good idea to use thread that's around the same color as your dress. As you start sewing, make sure that you take out the pins as you go around. Here I'm about to sew the tail onto the dress as well.
And once you're done sewing, you'll have the fabric and tails nice and secure onto the dress. Okay, so I'm starting out with my brows and my foundation already done. So I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. Now I'm going to take my Naked 2 palette and cover my lids with Booty Call. And we're gonna take the shadow all the way up to the eyebrow just because we wanna have that bright deer look. Now I'm gonna take blackout and go back and forth in between my crease. Now I'm gonna take my Real Techniques crease brush and blend that all out. Now I'm going to take my NARS Creamy Concealer and go underneath my eyes with it. And I'm blending that out with my buffing brush. I'm going to use my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit to highlight and contour. I'm going to use the brightest color there on the deep kit just to really exaggerate the look. And the name of this color is Nude. I'm not putting a highlight on my nose because I'm going to go over that with a white pencil. I'm going to go ahead and take my buffing brush and blend that out. secret brightening powder to set underneath my eyes. And I'm really patting it on here because I really want that exaggerated bright under eye look. Now I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and use that to draw down the bridge of my nose. Don't worry if it's not totally neat, you're gonna clean that up after. Now you're gonna take some black eyeliner and draw in the tip of your nose. Now you're going to go back to your palette and use the darkest color there. So I'm going to use the color Carob on the deep palette. I'm fun. I'm and I'm using my Real Techniques brow brush here. Now I'm going to go back and use a small brush and blend everything in. Now I'm going to use my Max Serene blush on my cheeks. 
I'm gonna go back and use my NYX pencil to draw on those little dots you usually see on deer. Then I went back and used a small brush to make the dots more precise. Now I'm going to line my waterline with that same NYX pencil again. Now I'm going to curl my lashes for the falsies I'm about to put on. Now I'm going to use these big fanned out lashes from MAC. I've had them for a while, but I've never had a chance to wear them till now. Now that I have my lashes on, I'm going to use my liner to line over top the lash strip. some mascara on my lower lashes. This mascara is called Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. Now I'm going to go back to my Naked palette and use Half Baked in the corner of my eyes. I'm going to use my Clinique Chubby Stick in Richer Raisin. Top that off with my Stilla Lip Glaze in brown sugar. Now that I'm all done, I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus to just set the look. Now I'm all done, I've cleaned up any messy lines I had, and there you have it, a doe-eyed deer look. Now here's the look in its entirety. I've got the front, the back, and that's all there is to it. I'm having so much fun with you.